Hi friends, in this lecture we will discuss a completely new topic called concept of nullifying, right? And now this topic is actually not so important topic but then people who are aiming for 165 plus and a perfect 170 score must definitely know this topic, know this concept as well, right? Why? Because you know GRE is completely unpredictable exam and then to score till 155 it is easy to score but you are aiming for 165 plus to 170 means definitely you should know certain concepts and especially algebra means not just solving inequalities not just solving a's and b's or, or basic questions doesn't mean that it is algebra right and, and in the same at the same time solving uh, very difficult questions is also not required for our GRE exam right for our exam just moderate level is enough but then you should know the most important concepts and one such important concept is concept of nullifying now the origin of this is suppose you have one single equation and if you have two variables as i told you earlier in uh, many of the lectures like mock mock courses or uh, linear equations uh, i have discussed this point if you have two variables and a single equation then there is no way you can get a specific answer there will be n number of solutions there will be infinite number of solutions right and the process of deriving these n number of solutions uh, we discuss in a different topic called simultaneous integral solutions right done now whenever you have two variables then definitely to get a specific or specified answer you should at least have two equations right similarly if you have three variables like x y z then definitely you sh you must have a minimum of three equations given so that you can solve x y and z right similarly if you have four equations four variables minimum number of equations you need is four equations right that's it now this is the concept now what is the case if you have two variables and only one equation still you will be able to solve the questions based on this nullifying concept right now so here the options will help you at the same time uh, your question is soluble and you can get to get to the answer right this answer is completely depending depends on the options itself right now one more thing suppose if you have three variables and there are two equations given in reality you just need three equations to solve those three variables right but at cases in some cases what happens is in your exam there will be more than two three equations right if for example there may be four four variables and then there may be only two equations given in your question right then the way to solve the question you have to apply a concept called nullification concept right now coming to the point so the point you have to t take away here is whenever you have one two variables and one equation what you have to know is exactly or at least you can solve only one variable and one variable you can imagine anything right that is the point similarly suppose i'm writing here if there are two variables and one equation given in your question that means that you can only solve one variable and one variable you have to imagine something understand so based on this imagination we are going to get the value of that one variable right similarly you are going to solve the question similarly if you have three variables and two equations the meaning of this is two variables you will get a specific answer for two variables you will get an answer but for one variable you have to imagine understand imagine means you can keep any value you want right similarly if you have four variables and you have only two equations given in the question that means that you can put only two variables you will get the specific answer you can get answer for only two variables and two variables you can keep any value you wish right that is imaginary you can you can that 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 two variables will be, will be a placeholder for imagination right you can put any value you wish to now let us solve this question see this you can pause the pause the video and try to solve this question on your own right then i'll tell you the technique so using the technique you will solve this question in seconds right now if a by 1 minus a plus b by 1 minus b plus c by 1 minus c is equal to 1 then what is the value of 1 by 1 minus a plus 1 by 1 minus b plus 1 by 1 minus c right now here 
first i will tell you the technique or else first i will solve in a normal traditional way then i will tell you the technique now see this the question is this one and your, your given condition is this one and your question is this one right so what you have to do is you have to change your condition to orient itself in the direction of your question right so from the given condition you have to derive this one right now how can you derive you have a by 1 by 1 minus a but then in the question you have 1 by 1 minus a so if i do like this a by 1 minus a if i add plus 1 here right what happens is you take lcm you'll get a plus 1 minus a by 1 minus a with this what happens minus a plus a cancel and you'll get 1 by 1 minus a now see this this given condition question if you add one you'll be getting your question right so from the condition you're going to the question direction right this is the way of solving so what i will do is i will add plus one to this so a by one minus a plus one plus this one b by one minus b plus one plus c by one minus c plus one equal to one and now since you added plus ones here in LHS side you have to minus plus one the other side sorry you have to add plus one on the other side also right so to nullify this one plus one is there plus one is there plus one is there so you added plus three on the LHS side so to balance out that you have to add plus three on the RHS side also right so plus three done now this part if you solve this part you will get a plus one minus a by 1 minus a plus similarly this one you will get b plus 1 minus b by 1 minus b plus c plus 1 minus c by 1 minus c is equal to 4 right now plus a minus a plus b minus b plus c minus a cancel you will be left with 1 by 1 minus a plus 1 by 1 minus b plus 1 by 1 minus c is equal to 4 that's it so uh, your answer for this question will be option 4 right now we will solve using the question uh, using the concept of nullifying right now see this here you have only one equation given right you have only one equation how many variables are there three variables are there you have one equation and three variables so what is the meaning of this if suppose we have three variables then definitely to solve these three variables you must have a minimum of three equations right but here only one equation is there so the meaning of this is out of these three variables only one variable will have a definite answer so one variable do not touch it right touch do not touch right do not touch it now two variables are placeholders for imagination you can imagine any any value for these two two variables understand now what I will do is I will put b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0. So I will put b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0. So the given condition will get converted into a by 1 minus a plus this becomes 0 complete becomes 0 right. Even this complete thing becomes 0. So 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. So you will get a by 1 minus a is equal to 1. That implies a is equal to 1 minus a so 2a is equal to 1 so a becomes 1 by 2 that's it right now let us solve our question so first of all we simplified the given condition now we are solving the question now see this this gets converted into you keep b is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 it will become 1 by 1 minus a plus 1 by 1 minus 0 it becomes 1 plus 1 is equal to how much this is our question right so 1 by 1 minus a plus 2 is equal to how much you know a is equal to 1 by 2 so in place of a put the 1 by 2 right plus 2 so 1 minus 1 by 2 becomes 1 by 2 so 1 by 1 by 2 becomes 2 right so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 this is the same answer we got earlier as well right and this is how you solve your questions right so whenever in your exam you got stuck at a point where you see these kind of difficult questions right so this is of 165 plus level right so in case you find a question where you are having more number of variables and a less number of equations try to use this concept right now see this x plus y is equal to 2z find the value of x by x minus z plus y by y minus z now see here this is the equation given right this is the equation and don't say this is also a second equation right we don't say this as equation what is equation if you equate something to zero right so suppose if you convert this one right 
x plus y equal to 2z means x plus y minus 2z equal to 0. So this is called equation, right? So you are equating something to something that is called equation. But here, if you see, this is not an equation, right? Why? Because this is not assigned any value, right? This is just a question. That's it, right? Now, if you see, we have three variables x, y, z are three variables and only one equation is given. See here three variables and one equation is given. Now whenever three variables are given you need minimum of three equations to solve these three variables but then only one equation is given. The meaning of this is one variable do not touch it okay do not touch it why because that particular one variable will have a definite answer but whereas the two other variables they are placeholders for imagination right you can imagine so what i will do is just make sure one more thing make sure that when you are plugging in some imagination right imaginary values make sure that you won't get uh, infinity or undefined thing right so don't try to get a zero by zero right now you have to plug in the value such that you won't get undefined right now see this x plus y is equal to 2z what i will do is if i keep x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 right what happens let us see if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 then automatically z also becomes 0 right so everything will become 0 and here you will get undefined right so don't put x is equal to y is equal to 0 so instead what you will do is put one variable as 0 x is equal to 0 you put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 right now what will the given condition will get converted into put x is equal to 0 so 0 plus y is equal to 1 is equal to 2z z is equal to 1 by 2 that's it now convert the question now this question will get converted into since x is equal to 0 0 by 0 minus z plus z is 1 by 2 1 by 2 by what is y here 1 minus 1 by 2 that's it so this already becomes 0 fine now here 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 this becomes 1 that's it so answer for this question will be 1 right that's how you need to solve the question now see this next question here again you have one single equation and how many variables you can see here x y z three variables are there right now you need to get this answer right what I will do is there are three variables and one equation so what I will do is one variable do not touch it two variables imagination okay imagination so what are the best ways to imagine now see here don't imagine y and z as zero why because if you see here one by zero becomes infinity right so zero is not possible here don't imagine that way instead what you will do is <coughs> put uh, y is equal to z is equal to 1 right now this given condition let us see how this will get converted into 4x minus 3 by x plus in place of uh, y keep 1 4 minus 3 is 1 1 by 1 is 1 plus in place of z put z is equal to 1 4 minus 3 is 1 1 by 1 is 1 that is equal to 0 so 4x minus 3 by x is equal to minus 2 so 4x minus 3 is equal to minus 2x bring this this side it will be 6x is equal to 3 x is equal to 1 by 2 that's it now convert the question as well now put y is equal to 1 it becomes 1 by x plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 is equal to how much this is your question right what is the value of x x here 1 by 2 so 1 by 1 by 2 becomes 2 2 plus 1 plus 1 becomes 4 so 4 will be your answer for this question right that's it now so we are done with this question as well now i will just show you how to solve in a traditional way the same question in a traditional way see this 4x by 4x minus 3 by x means if I cancel this out it will be 4 minus 3 by x plus 4 minus 3 by y plus 4 minus 3 by z is equal to 0. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 send it that side it will become minus 3 by x minus 3 by y minus 3 by z is equal to minus 12. If I take minus 3 common from LHS it will be minus 3 into 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to minus 12 so 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z 
will give you minus 12 by minus 3 this gives you 4 that's it the same answer we got earlier as well right done